Hello everybody, I'm Ricky Smith. Welcome to Faith on Friday. In the Bible, the book of Exodus, we read about the children of Israel who wandered around the wilderness for 40 years after leaving captivity from Egypt. During that time, the people became hungry and God heard their cry. So God fed them bread from heaven, which the people called manna, meaning, what is this? They were told also not to take more than they needed in the household, enough for the meal because the manna would be given and provided every day. Some of them did not listen. They took more than what they needed. And as they slept, that manna became a wormy, smelly mess filled with maggots, and it wasn't good for anything. How many of us hold on to something that's temporary, trying to make it permanent, and then wondering why it's a wormy mess? It's because it's toxic. It's not good for you. It pulls you down more than it pulls you up. A lot of times we think of toxic in the ways of relationships, but it's more than that. What about a toxic job, an environment, an emotion, or a habit? What about a toxic mindset? It's up to you to recognize what these things are in your life and get rid of them. But how? Well, first of all, understand this. Denial is not just a river in Egypt. You have to admit that something in your life is toxic. And then it's time to surround yourself with good things, reconnect with good friends, go back to the habits and hobbies that you loved before, and then make sure to change your mind. Determine in yourself, I'm not going back to the thing that was only supposed to be temporary. It's important that you don't squander your precious life by giving your time and attention to something that is trying to kill you. What you have, where you're going, is so much more important than the temporary thing you're trying to hold on to. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for sharing the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. My name is Ricky Smith and I'll see you next Friday.